Hey, good day, everybody. Uh, welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. Uh, on this video, I will be driving through the city of Beach Grove, Indiana. Now, Beach Grove, Indiana is located in Marion County. It is a it is one of the southern suburbs of Indianapolis. Now Beach Grove is 15 minutes from Indianapolis. The population is 14,898 people. The population has been grown at a rate of 6.5% as of the 2020 census. Now the average home price, according to data, is $158,000. However, if you're looking to buy a house in Beach Grove, Indiana, I would be prepared to spend at least $200,000 for a house. Now, there are a couple of houses that are priced a little lower than $200,000, but not too many. Most houses that are for sale right now in Beach Grove are going to be $200,000 or better. Now, before I never really paid much mind to the racial makeup of the city, but I noticed in the comment section on other videos I made that many of you want to know the racial uh, makeup of the city, so I'm going to start including that in many of my videos that I do. So, the racial makeup in Beach Grove is 86.8% W, 6.9% uh, B, 0.5% A, 3.9% H. Now, Beach Grove was incorporated in 1906. Now, as far as uh, notable people go, uh, there is a lady by the name of Sarah Fulton. Uh, she lived from 1814 to 1893. She was a woman's rights. She was yeah, she was a woman's rights rights activist. And then the other notice, uh, notable person in Beach Grove is Francis but Clinton, uh, Francis M. Churchman. lived from 1833 to 1891 and she was a financer for Indianapolis. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with Beach Grove, Indiana, as you watch my video, at no point, at no point in this video, I'm gonna tell you right now, at no point in this video will you run into any type of beaches, will you run into any type of water. Now, although th although this is called Beach Grove, Indiana, there are no beaches near this area at all. And in a minute, I will let you guys know where the name Beach Grove came from. But first, uh, some of the, you got Bolton's Farm, which is also known as Beach Bank, which is a brewing company. You also got Churchman's Cattle Farm, other words known as Beach Grove Farm. Now I try to do some further research on Beach Grove Farm to see if it was around today. Now, to be completely honest, I don't know if Beach Grove Farm is around today, or if it is, I don't know if it changed names or ownership or any of that. I was unable to find that information, so anyone who's familiar with Beach Grove or you're familiar with Beach Grove history, leave a comment below. Now both the 
uh, Bolton's farm and the churchman's cattle farm both reflected the abundance of beech trees in the area. Rich is where the name Beech Grove came from. So that's why this city is called Beech Grove because of the beech trees that were in this city. Now for those of you that are wondering what type of entertainment is in Beach Grove. Obviously, if Beach Grove doesn't have enough entertainment for you, you can always drive 15 minutes into Indianapolis. Oh, and by the way, there's going to be a small section of downtown that you guys are not going to get to see because as I was the day that I chose to record this video, the down there is a section of downtown that was closed off because they were having a classic car show. And another thing I like to point out about Beach Grove is during the week, there is a significant amount of traffic that goes through Beach Grove. Now, I recorded this video over the weekend, over a weekend, so that's the reason why you do not see a whole lot of traffic. Now having I recorded this video during the weekday, you guys would have saw a lot more traffic. So if you're looking to move to Beach Grove, understand this, air, understand this city does have a fair amount of traffic. Now, as far as things to do in Beach Grove, you can go to the Sierra and Bolton Park. And there's also other parks within the Beach Grove area that you can go visit. You got Beach Bank Brewing. There's also the Beach Grove Bowling Alley. You also got the Great Time Family Fun Park, which is basically an amusement park in Beach Grove, Indiana. And for those of you that enjoy golf, you can go to the Sailor Shank Golf Course. And now they also have the Hannah Haunted Acres. Now, I'm not sure whether that's all year round or rather that's only going to be during the Halloween season. And then you also have the Waterman's Family Farm, which is not far from the Beach Grove, which is not far from Beach Grove, Indiana. Now. To be honest with you guys, I have not spent a whole lot of time in this area. I mean, I've driven through this area on the main stretch where the majority of your commercial businesses are located, but I never took the time to actually drive through town here. And I gotta say, this ain't a, you know, if, if, if you have the right type of money, like around $200,000, now, me personally, uh, I think $200,000 for a home is a little rich. I mean, for $200,000, me personally, I would prefer to live somewhere out in the country a little bit. I mean, not too far in the country, but I would prefer to have a little bit more land with my house than what you'll get here in Beach Grove. But for those of you that don't mind spending that couple hundred thousand dollars, uh, this is definitely a decent place to live. I mean, it's, it's, it appears to be clean and it appears to be a quiet city when it needs to be. You got plenty of businesses around. You got plenty of amenities. You're not far from Indianapolis. And you're not far from other places like Greenwood, which is a fairly decent place to go shopping at and find a job 
So you got places like Greenwood, which ain't too far from here. So yeah, if you're looking to, so yeah, if you're wanting to live in the greater Indianapolis area and you don't want to live in the metro and you may not have the money to live in any of the Hamilton County suburbs, then this would definitely be an area that you might want to consider uh, coming down and checking out. And like I said, if you're looking to buy a house in this area, uh, you're gonna wanna be prepared to spend at least $200,000. Now I'm pretty sure you can negotiate a little bit, but just to go on the safe side, you're gonna wanna be prepared to spend at least a couple hundred grand because the majority of the houses that are currently for sale that I saw on realtor.com are gonna be priced around $200,000 or more. Now, I just jumped online here on my phone, and let's see, there are some apartments that are for rent in Beach Grove. Now, the cheapest that I see is going to run $705. Oh, no, I take that back. See, I see one for six hundred and forty dollars. Let me just scroll through my phone and see what apartment looks like. Let's see what you can get if you're in the market just to pay rents. Now, again, uh, for those of you that are watching this video that's familiar with Beach Grove and you're familiar with some of the apartment complexes if you if off the top of your head you know of a good apartment complex for somebody to rent leave a comment below now the cheapest apartment I see is 640 bucks a month but sometimes if the apartment is cheap you get exactly what you pay for it I mean, and I don't want to, I don't want to suggest anybody to rent an apartment and then it's roach infested or something crazy. So, anyone that knows Beach Grove and you are familiar with the apartments in this city, leave a comment below and give your suggestion of what would be the best apartment for somebody to rent. And also, let us know the worst apartments to rent. Leave all that in the comment section. It would highly be appreciated. I mean, there's a whole bunch of apartments on my phone that are in Beach Grove that are currently up for rent. But I'm not going to bore you with all that information. I would really have someone that knows what they're talking about to leave a comment below for you guys to read. Alright folks, I'm gonna, I'm 
might put on a little bit of music for you guys, or I might just let it play without the music. I haven't made a decision of what I'm going to do. So, you guys enjoy the rest of this video.